actually, my time is not too bad because I have got through that bit, didn't I? So let's have a look at this one, type 2. So it says a mixture of logs and numbers. Ooh. Right. So, <laughs> different ways of doing it. A nice, easy way is to remove the log. So this would be ln is log to base e. So to remove ln, it's e. So if I take e of both sides, I'm not sure how much e we've done. It would be e to the ln of 3x minus 2, which cancels itself out, gives you a 3x minus 2. And it would be e cubed, e cubed. So if I add on the 2 and then divide by the 3, so I've got 3x is e cubed plus 2, and then x is e cubed plus 2 divided by 3. And that's what it would be in exact form. So that's okay, that is that. But when you calculate it's an e bit. So let's see if this one's done the same or am I just making it up? Yeah, look, see, they've got it the same. Right, so with this one, similar idea. <coughs> well, this is log to base 3. So if I combine these together, it's log to base 3 of 8x, and that's equal to 5. And then, so I'm going to do, so taking e, on both sides, and we'll do 3 to the power of because that will remove the log, and I'll just have an 8x is 3 to the power of 5. So, what I've really got there, I'm just looking at a different color. So, that bit there is 3 to the power of log to base 3 of 8x, and they cancel like the ln and the e cancels. Right, if you try it on your calculator, it works. So then, if I have x is 3 to the power 5 over 8, uh, it's 2, 4, 3 over 8. Uh, there's one here for you. So that's going to be a 4x squared is 2. And then you log to base 10, so you're doing 10 to the power of, to get rid of it. <clears throat> so that's where that line comes from. So I hope about the coffee again. Right, so let's look at this next one then. So let's combine these, put them together. So x plus 3 over x is 3. Opposite of ln is, is e. So e and ln cancel. I've got x plus 3 over x is e cubed. Take now, this is like a GCSE, you rearrange one which nobody likes. So that's x e to the 3. So I'm going to take the three, take that over there, and I'm going to take the three over there. So I've got x minus x e cubed is equal to minus three. Then I'm going to take out x as a factor because I want x on its own. So you can see why uh, on a GCSE paper, these are generally the worst answered questions because you have to take it up, expand the brackets, take it over, take out x as a factor, and then divide through, <laughs> and you get that. I'm just going to move away to cough. <coughs> Sorry. And that gives you that. What do you think about that there? But what I can do if I wanted to is multiply 3 by minus 1 on the top and bottom. So I'd have a 3 over e cubed minus 1. If I wanted. There. And there's another one. Oh, this one's got an e to the power of 0. Remember, e to the power of 0 is 1. That's where the 2x comes from when you multiply 3 by it. So look at this one. Whoa, I'm going to be quick. So I've got log to base 3. I've got x plus 11 over x minus 5. That's equal to 2. If I do it uh, base 3, so I'm going to do 3 to the power of x plus 11, x minus 5 is 3 squared. So then if I take up the, the x minus 5, it's 9 lots of x minus 5. So I've got x plus 11 is 9x minus 45. Take that over there, that's going to be 56 is 8x. Uh, 7 8 is 56. That's 7, which doesn't look anything like the one I've got here. Or maybe I'm just looking on the wrong page. Well, I've not got that one. Where's your e? Hang on, because I'm running out of time. X is 7 there. Can I do it? Hang on. Nearly got caught out by the five minutes. See you later. Bye.